about this piece of equipment that we see um, spinning in the wind above your truck? Okay, this is a vertical access wind generator. And what you're looking at now is a, a modified Servonius rotor type wind generator. Uh, these types of wind generators have been around for many, many years, mostly used for pumping water. Typical wind generators require a very fast rotation. The faster they turn, the more electricity they produce. We've created a generator system that will actually spin slower the harder the wind blows. We've got an axial flux generator and there's a controller and it senses the speed of the rotation and it draws more magnetic energy off of the unit which creates more power but it also slows the unit down. This will also help the longevity of the unit because there is less wear and tear on the parts. If you've noticed out in Haiku, if you've ever heard one of those wind generators running, it's, it's pretty loud and the faster they spin, the more power they make, but then the bearings are wearing out and there's a lot of wear and tear and the neighbors are going nuts. These units are designed to fit on a home in a residential area. We've checked with the county and they're very excited about having these permitted. In fact, most of the guys at the county wanted to get one themselves first. And uh, in a minute, if you want, we can jump up there and take a look at the actual unit and how it's working inside. All right, we're standing up top here looking at the vertical axis wind turbine. This here unit is the MagWind unit. And I'm going to stop it now and we're going to take a closer look at this. If you get a little closer here, you can see there's a coil inside there. These are the magnets on top. There's another plate just like this inside the unit that rotates and it runs past these coils. Now this system is very unique. There's no brushes, there's no armatures, there's nothing to wear out. The wire comes directly out of this thing, and that's it. There's not a lot of complicated parts in this thing. Now when this thing spins, the magnets are passing the coils. There's one on top and one on the bottom, and they pass the coil. This is a negative magnet, this is a positive magnet, this is a negative magnet. So as it's passing by it, we're actually getting AC current. Most wind turbines put out DC current. AC current is very convenient because it'll travel a long distance to a power cord. There's a many other reasons this is very unique. Most wind turbines have to spin very fast, like I said earlier. The harder the wind blows, my controller senses the speed, and it'll take more power off of the coils, which creates a magnetic break. So the harder the wind blows, the slower the turbine will turn. We have an emergency feature that in a, in a case where there's a hurricane or something, you can hit a switch and it crosses the wires and it'll lock the unit up. Now it won't completely stop moving because as soon as the unit stops turning, there's no electricity. As soon as it starts to move, it creates a little electricity and stops it. And then it starts to move and then it stops it. The thinking that we have is that the willow tree bends in the storm and the oak snaps. So we want the unit to continue to turn even in a 200 mile an hour wind therefore hopefully surviving it if your house survives. And uh, you'd still have some power when the storm's over and you come back home. Um, the larger unit that we're talking about installing is 14 feet in diameter, eight feet tall, and it's magnetically levitated, okay? There's a magnet underneath and another magnet on the base and it floats on a cushion like the Japanese magnetic train. And it floats on this cushion because we don't want any vibrations to transmit into the building. We want it to be very silent. I've got pictures of birds sitting on top of this thing, riding it around in circles in a very strong wind. This is a very safe unit. It's not going to make any noise. When this thing is running really fast, it's not going to make any noise because it doesn't run fast. It's producing a lot of power at a low rotational speed. And uh, we're pretty excited about it. Uh, we have a lot of good responses. We've got many different sizes, and uh, we're hoping to get many of these installed in Maui and, and start solving some of the solutions for us. Cost-wise, how much money could this save somebody or a homeowner who purchased it? Okay, for example, uh, we have a proposal pending right now with a windshirt shop here in Kahului. They have an electric bill of $8,000. They're going to buy a unit for $70,000, but it produces $4,000 of electricity a month. So their rate of return is going to be very fast. Now this was before any tax credits or incentives. So when you add those in there, their payoff time is almost nothing. And then he'll be in a positive cash flow. 
he has other rental units. He owns the whole building and there's other shops in his building. If the first one goes good, we're looking at installing several other ones and he's just going to include the utilities in the rent and he can use that income now to offset his cost of purchase. Maui today.